Stevie, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know who come here. Did I'm a happy joint. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yes, Lord Jesus. I'm laughing at myself because when I just turned the phone on, you talking about I had it set up to get ready to push the button and it went back dark. When I opened it back up, it, it, it showed me a picture of me at the last post. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yes, Lord. You know, this is authentic or nothing. <laughs> yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> He wants us to be happy. He wants us to be joyous. You come on. And for those who come here, no. That joy. You talk about. It's always something. You talk about. Yes, Lord. He ringing bells and all kind of things around this joint. But y'all know how I like to do about this here time. You talk about. On a serious note. Because there's a time to joke. This is a time for a serious note. You talk about. Yes, Lord. Pray for this kingdom family. Lord. I pray for our family and all those who are in need. Yes, indeed. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, cover us all in your precious blood. Keep us protected and preserved. We come to you faithfully, Heavenly Father. Every day and every night. All through the day and all through the night, we pray. Even when the viewers don't see. We pray profusely, everything with you, Lord Jesus. And we implore them to do the same, to come to you with everything. Yes, Lord Jesus, you are always welcome in our family's life. You are always faithful to all of us, each and every last one of us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for going before us and fighting our battles, seen and unseen. We cancel, rebuke denounce and renounce all evil spells, curses, blockages, witchcraft, whatever. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We 86 that giant. Yes, Lord, and we pray it onto your feet, Heavenly Father. Use it as your footstool as you use us as your tools to bring forth your gospel and spread your word for generations to come. We plead your precious blood over us and all that concerns us. In your mighty name, Father God. Amen. Ooh. Yes. Lord. The joint did it again. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is authentic or nothing. And I can't make this stuff up. You know what I'm talking about? The dark is the deal. The froze up. But you know, that ain't gonna stop us. You talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. Because it's in God that we trust. You talking about, yes, Lord. So. Oh, the Tyler, the thumbnail, you know what I'm talking about? As you can tell. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And yes, and amen. You talk about, yes, Lord. Do you know? The Tyler says, faith under fire. You know talking about? When I saw the Tyler, you know talking about? He started hitting me with, you know, all type of things that I can bring to you to explain to you the meaning behind the title. You know what I'm talking about? And one of the main meanings behind the title, faith under fire, is because, you know, as we go through the fire, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. As we call forth his fire to bring a burning hedge around us and all that concerns us, just like how we plead his precious blood. He make beautiful ashes. You know what I'm talking about? We are beauty from ashes. You know what I'm talking about? Because 
we've been through the fire, you know what I'm talking about? And as we pray and we praise his holy name, you know what I'm talking about? He is our heart's desire, you know what I'm talking about? He was designed that way, you know what I'm talking about? As we pray, because we release ourselves and relinquish our soul on to him, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, we are his precious gems, the ones that sit high in his crown, you know what I'm talking about? As we take away his crown of thorns and give him a crown of glory, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, you know, I was on uh, another channel and I was explaining, you know, what had been draining and afflicted me. The last couple of days, it was an attack, you know what I'm talking about? And I know it was, in fact, because he showed me that earlier today, you know what I'm talking about? I've had a, a spot, you know what I'm talking about, on my face. You know what I'm talking about? And my skin is pretty much clear and even, you know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm turning back to my regular color because the summer is leaving, you know what I'm talking about? And... <laughs> you know, if he is authentic or nothing, and I, I just can't make none of this stuff up. You talking about? I've been going over a lot of videos and stuff that I've put out, put together. You talking about? And as I've been doing that, it's in order for me to get ready to switch him over to another platform. You know what I'm talking about? And I come across one where I had been driving for like probably about 14 hours. You know what I'm talking about? 14, 16, around there. And I happened to look up in the air. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. I look up in the air and there was an angel walking across the clouds. You talking about? Yes, Lord. I hollered out loud. What I just got through saying. Lord, you talking about? So I'm like, okay. I'm tired. You talking about? That's when I start singing this song, Lord, take me home, walk me home. You talking about? So this was within a few seconds. I start, uh, I'm looking around because I'm like, man, I'm tripping. You know what I'm talking about? And I start seeing other cars pointing and looking and pulling over to the side. I'm on the highway. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm like, man, okay, I ain't tripping. This truck in front of me over here, he done pulled over. This car over here, they done pulled over. And me, after I, I videoed it for a little bit, me and about two other people in two different cars sat and talked about it for about five minutes. You talking about before we took on off? And I sung that song all the way home. You talking about? Lord, walk with me. You talking about? That's faith under fire. You talking about? Yes, Lord. And as you can see, I'm still here. So he walked me home. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. When I seen that video earlier today, I said, Lord Jesus, help me. You know what I'm talking about? How am I going to put these things together the way that, you know, you want me to put them together on that deal? You know what I'm talking about? So he started revealing to me how he want me to put it. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to take my time and do that so I could do it right, you know what I'm talking about, the way that I feel like it should come out. Um, I'm not very good at editing or anything like that. So, you know, those that go there, you know, you know, give a brother some slack. You know what I'm talking about? That's not my, my field, you know what I'm talking about? And I, another thing that he was hitting me with about faith under fire, you know what I'm talking about? The devil wants you to have your faith under fire, you know what I'm talking about? That's his desire, you know what I'm talking about? Because he don't want you to have any faith, you know what I'm talking about? He wants you to be faithless, you know what I'm talking about? So that you can be blamed 
come on. But our God is saying, you come up. Yes, Lord Jesus. He wants us to be blameless. That's why he wants us to have faith. You come up. That's why he wants us to believe that we can achieve. You come up so that we can receive. Yes, Lord Jesus. Listen. We gonna get off into some script and let it rip. You come up. Lord Jesus. What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell our people? Yo, chillin', Lord Jesus. Give us a good one like you always do. Let these scripts help me. Let them help someone else through. Woo! I, you know what? I've been smiling all day. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, he know how to make me smile. He know how to do it. You know talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Woo! Let these scripts help me. Let them help someone else through, Lord Jesus. Even though the deal froze up, y'all know what's up. He got us off in old Isaiah. Isaiah 26, this time on verse 8. Nope, 27 on verse 8. Forgive me. And, and in, in Zah, Isaiah, Isaiah 28 on verse 18. But y'all know the routine. Run this jam to my yes, Lord. And it says, <clears throat> Measure by measure, by exile, thou didst contend with them. He removed them with his fierce blast in the day of the east wind. You know, the east wind. You know, I, I don't want to say it, but he brought me back to, you know, when I spoke on it, it's going to be a storm, you know what I'm talking about? And now that he put me here, you know what I'm talking about, that just triggered me a little bit, you know what I'm talking about? Since therefore, by this, the guilt of Jacob will be expated and this will be the full fruit of the removal of his sin you know this is where Jacob he repented and come out from his inquinities against out you come out against the laws before him and it says when he makes all the stones of the altars like chalk stones crushed to pieces, no Asherah or incense altars will remain standing. That's because in his planning, he said he don't want no more altars of inanimate objects to be worshipped in his name. He wants us you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. That's faith under fire. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. It says, For the fortified city is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken. Like the wilderness, there the calves graze. There he lies down and strips it branches when it is brought when its broths are dry they are broken women come to make a fire of them for this is a people without discernment you know instead of making the fire you know they, they, call, it, they call it cloning now you know what I'm talking about but you know, they could have took some of those twigs with the, the leaves that still had a little life and replanted a tree. You know what I'm talking about? It says, Therefore, he who made them will not have compassion on them. He that formed them 
will show them no favor. Because, you know, it was wasted. It says, in that day, from the river of the Ephraimites, the brook of Egypt, the Lord will thrash out the grain, and you will be gathered one by one, O people of Israel. And in that day, a great trumpet will be blown. And those who were lost in the land of Assyria, and those who were driven out of the land of Egypt will come and worship the Lord on the holy mountain at Jerusalem. You know why? Because that was them going through their faith under fire. You talking about? He put me where he wanted me to be at. You talking about? You see, he had to separate them from those places in order for them to go and seek him. Who talking about? Go and seek him in faith, knowing that he is going to be there on that mountain to prophesy to them, to preach to them, to heal them, to reveal to them all the commandments that he has for us. You talking about? So that we can sign that agreement of that covenant with him. You talking about? Yes, Lord. That's why he said over here in that, that verse that he didn't hit me with for the last almost, what, probably seven months. You come up. Go into your chambers for a little while and close the door behind you. You come up. Yes, Lord Jesus, until the wrath is passed. You come up. So we going to go on over here to Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28, verse 18. And it says, Then your covenant with death will be annulled. And your agreement with sure will not stand. You know what that agreement was? You're talking about? Because this is how the devil works. The devil works with, you know, adhesive contracts. Those are contracts that are uneven. You're talking about when God give you a contract, you're talking about he going to even out them scales. You're talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. He don't play no games. You're talking about he wants to prosper us and not harm us. That's faith under fire. You're talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. And it says, when the overwhelming scourge passes through, you will be beaten down by it. As often as it passes through, it will take you from morning by morning. It will pass through by day and by night. And it will be sheer terror to understand this here message. You know what I'm talking about? It's a sheer terror to the kingdom of darkness for you to understand God's plan. For you to have a communication with him. For you to be connected to him, for you to serve him, for you to be obedient to him, for you to be faithful to him, for you to, you know, go with your faith under fire, you know what I'm talking about? And it says, yeah, because we're running that giant. For the bed is too short to stretch oneself out on it. And the cover is too narrow to wrap oneself up in it. For the Lord will rise up as on Mount Prism. He will be rough as in the valley of Gilead. To do his deed, strange is his deed. And to work, his work is alien. Is his work. You know. He works in mysterious ways. That's why we pray when we praise his holy name. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. That's why when you relinquish your soul onto him, things will never be the same. You know what I'm talking about? That's faith under fire. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And it says, Now, therefore, do not scoff. Least your bonds be made strong. 
For I have heard a decree of destruction from the Lord of hosts upon the whole land. You talking about? That's why he told Jacob. You talking about? He gave Jacob a second chance. You talking about? So that he can advance and possess his possessions. And that's the same thing that he wants to do with you. You talking about? Me too. You talking about? Because I receive these words as well. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, he is. Authentic or nothing. You talking about? Yes, Lord. So, it says, Give an ear and hear my voice. Hearken and hear my speech. He wants us to listen to him. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, because our words to him are in, within reach of his ears. You talking about? So have no fears, like I tell my kids, my my future spouse, you talking about? Have no fears. You talking about? None at all. God got us. You talking about? That's faith under fire. You talking about? Yes, Lord. It says, does he who plows for sowing plow continuously? No. Let me tell you why. Because we have planted good seeds. You talking about? So there's no need for us to go and till continuously. You know what I'm talking about? It's up for us to pray and praise his holy name and ask him and beg him for him to cast his face upon us. You know what I'm talking about? Fresh oil, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. For him to flood us. You know what I'm talking about? With fresh anointings. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, from his appointings. Yes, Lord. And it says, Does he continually open and howl over the ground? No, there's no need. God is already taking care of it. You talking about? He says, When he has leveled his surface, you know. When we pat that joint down, you talking about in there, all it takes is a prayer for him to water it, you talking about, for him to nurture it, for him to grow it, for him to know it, you talking about, yes, Lord Jesus, our God is heroic, you talking about, he always fights for us, you talking about, that's faith under fire, you talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. He says, does he not scatter deal and so come in? And put in wheats in rows and barley in its proper place. And split its borders. You know, these are different seeds of faith that we plant every day when we pray. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. To ask him to have his way. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. So that he can do it. What he promised us, you talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, it's a must that we have a relationship with him. And I thank him dearly for our relationship, you know talking about? Because he be tripping me out, you know talking about? You <laughs> Hold on, man. He talking to you. This here is a good word, you talking about? So the devil want to be up, sir, you know talking about? But we gonna keep on keeping on. You know what I'm talking about? We steadily press forward. You know what I'm talking about? We steadily pray every day, every night, all through the day. You know what I'm talking about? You know, my favorite word now is to say, Lord, help me. You know what I'm talking about? Help me, Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Because when you call for the help of the Lord, He comes in for you just like that. You know what I'm talking about? Back to back to back to back. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. What you have to do is know that your faith is under fire because, you know, you always got somebody praying against what you praying for. You know what I'm talking about? That's why we stay prayerful. We live a prayerful life. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> yes, Lord Jesus. Look at it. But this ain't stopping. You know what I'm talking about? God got it popping. You know what I'm talking about? And as he got it popping, we going to say, yay and amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Ooh, yes, Lord. <laughs> okay.
Yes, Lord Jesus, have your way. Ooh, yes, Lord. This is authentic to nothing. Yeah. You know, before I go, you already know. You come out. I pray profusely. You come out over our family. You come out. And I pray that our family prays the same thing. You come out. Yes, Lord Jesus. That's how we're going to maintain. You come out. Praying everything of God. You come out. Yes, Lord. He will take care of it all. You come out. We call on you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everything that you do for us and our children. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We pray and we praise your holy name. We hold you up in high honor, Father. We give you all the glory. Yes, Lord Jesus. Because you are the narrator. You talking about? And you have written it in your precious blood. You talking about? Over us. Over all that come here and see these here prayers. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And I pray everything that they pray for comes to fruition for them coming in, getting these prayers, getting these premonitions. To my, yes, Lord Jesus, you know, I'm a selfless joint. You're talking about, I don't ask for much. You're talking about, you know, I don't see nothing necessary for that. You're talking about, yes, Lord, you know, people will. Pray for a lot of things, but I just pray for simple things. I pray for more of God in my life. And my, I pray that He fulfills everything that He has planned for me. You come up, yes, Lord Jesus. You know, you have to pray for God to stand for you tomorrow, because that's what I pray for. I say, God, stand for me. You come up, stand in the gap for my family, Lord Jesus. You know, and when you pray these things, you come up, you have a faith under fire. You come up. And to all y'all who didn't came, you know, I pray y'all pray the same. You know, pray for us. You know, don't pray on us. You know, yes, Lord Jesus. You know, I, I live a peaceful life. You know, and I like my life that way. You know, that's why I don't bring no drama to nobody else. You know, yes, Lord Jesus. We don't go hunt down and head hunt and see who want to be the top, this or that. You know, about. Ain't, ain't no competition, especially over God, because he loves us all. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Anybody that tell you anything different than that, you better check your facts, check your heart, check your mind, and see what time it is. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. This here is authentic or nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all, George, in the moment.